The Ghana Sadie hit a new low against the US dollar, and in my opinion, the Sadie wasn't killed, it was murdered, and I think I found this smoking gun, and it's called the ESG scores. Let me explain to you what happened. Over the past 10 years, the currency of Ghana has been stable and well run, yet in February of 2022, around Valentine's Day, they got hit on two major fronts. The first was the Ukrainian war, which limited the supply of certain raw goods and materials. That didn't help. But the big thing that happened in February was that the credit rating agencies of the world, the S&Ps, the Moody's, all in unison lowered the Ghanaian credit rating significantly from mid-risk to very, very high risk. And the reason that they cited wasn't that the country wasn't well run or that they didn't have good working capital. No, the reason was they had a low ESG score. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's environmental social governance. Basically, the banks of the world said, well, Ghana is not doing what we're telling them to do with regards to environment and social policy. Therefore, we're going to make it much more expensive for them to borrow money. Now, Ghana's big mistake was they were a little bit over-reliant on overseas investors because it's easy, right? When you have overseas investors that'll give you hundreds of billions of dollars at a low interest rate, that's very tempting to take, yet it comes with golden handcuffs. And this is what Ghana is finding out, that when they tried to, for instance, restrict mining in their countries so that Western companies couldn't go and just strip mine every single place and pollute the water, well, they'll just decide that, well, we don't think that your social governance is proper, so we're going to make your interest rate go up 2%, 3%, 4%, and make it very hard for you to afford to refinance debt. And when one, uh, one, one credit bureau starts doing it, or one rating agency starts doing it, suddenly they all follow in unison, and it becomes a big gang up on a single currency. I think that Ghana is going to have to come to a crossroads, and they're going to have to decide, do they want to have these golden handcuffs? Or do they want to break from Western finance and start to create their own liquidity within their country? I think that's something that they're going to need to do if they want to be free of Western control. So what do you guys think? Should Ghana take steps to improve their ESG scores? And even if that means that they're giving into Western powers, or should they just simply break from Western financing? It's a really tough call because it's hard to establish lending markets in a country when you've been reliant on overseas investors for so long, like countries like Turkey are finding out. But let me know in the comments below. And if this video has been of value to you, be sure to give me a like and a follow. That really helps my channel out. And I always love reading your comments. And I'll see you guys on the next video.